Just a couple quick disclaimers before we begin. Number one, do not go to war with anyone mentioned in this video. And number two, because this series' purpose is to critique and comment on the artwork presented in it, it falls under fair use. Now, on with the show. DeviantArt, one of the world's largest online art galleries, holding great masterpieces, but also great eccentricities. Today, we will take a look at someone from there. On this episode of DeviantArt Critique, we'll be diving into Hexadextrous. Hexadextrous is an artist hailing from the United States that has been on the site in one form or another for eight years. He has published 641 deviations and has cultivated a following of 850 watchers. He is 28 years old. Let's dive into his gallery. The first thing that you might notice when stumbling across his gallery for the first time is the distinctive quality of the art. Sure, it's not the worst out there, but I can certainly tell that it's in the lower percentiles. Not only is it made in a flat, MS Paint-like style, but there are various issues with anatomy a lot of the time. Take the piece Galia and Joe, for example. Not only are the lines drawn in varying qualities, but there are various flaws in the anatomy of the maid. Firstly, the left arm is straight up out of the picture, somehow, and the right arm looks like it's way too short for her. Secondly, the head also looks pretty off. The mouth, nose, and eyes look like they're way too close for comfort, and the way it's positioned also looks pretty weird. These issues, combined with the inconsistent line quality, mostly flat coloring, and the whole thing taking place in a nameless brown void, make it an overall mediocre piece. Hexadextrous has also taken various photos of Lego mechs and bionicle models out in his room. While he does keep the backgrounds all white for the most part to make sure that the models are clearly visible, there are times where he straight up poses them on his hardwood floor. In addition to that, the lighting in those pictures is also pretty bad, and it seems like that he also uses his phone to take them. However, the very next thing that you would notice after that is the fact that our subject here seems to have a thing for decapitation and detachable limbs. Time and time again, Hexadextrous has drawn his Mato C. Well, I'm not sure if it's his Mato C, but moving on. In various situations involving her using her unique physiological quirk to do various things that he regards as cute. Cute. Hex, if you're watching this, then I have to object to your preconceived notion that cute girls taking off their heads or limbs right out of their body like some sort of mannequin is cute. On the other hand, I have to say that it is quite an unusual and weird thing to fall into the cute category. In your profile, you claim that, quote, cute things give you life and that is a sign of a fascination with things that you consider cute. You also use the concept of cute to defend yourself against the logical process of people figuring out that this decapitation thing you've got going on is, in fact, a fetish. Sure, you might say that you don't draw characters in sexy ways, and I do have to concede that point. However, that does not mean that one can't be sexually aroused by cute things. That on its own is pretty much the foundation for Lollicon. One might also notice in this little excerpt of the journal I'm showing to you right now that Hexadextrous seems to be a particularly outspoken individual. Let's get into that. Over the years that he's been on DeviantArt, Hexadextrous has racked up a reputation for being an overall obnoxious person. 
Apparently, quote, he's obnoxious, overly opinionated, and he barely even sounds like an actual human being when he speaks. He called people idiots for preferring classic Sonic or thinking Sonic Mania is better than virtually every recent Sonic game. Also, quote, he used to go by Metarex Master and Armored Entity, and he was pretty well known in certain communities for his childish worldview and starting arguments with other users constantly. Other than raving about the latest magical girl anime, expressing his hatred for gore, and explaining why it is that he doesn't have a care in the world for his symbolism for whatever reason, there are three incidents which I will go over. The first happened on DeviantArt sometime in the early 2010s, and involves him and a Madoka Magical group he tried to be a part of. If research serves me right, then, quote, he was kicked from a Madoka RP group for trying to insert his OCs and his fetishes into it, then started insulting the art of the other group members and whining after getting kicked. I'll let these posts speak for themselves. As you saw from those posts, Hexadextrous is quite an annoying individual to others, and not just in that incident either. A little background on this one. Hexadextrous is creating a fan manga that is totally not a fan fiction of Madoka Magica with his OCs. Apparently it's based on a dream, which is interesting, to say the least. However, on a little corner of the internet known as the Fraxy Forums, he, under the alias Armored Entity, decided to talk about his fan fi er, fan manga, and all hell broke loose. In the six page long thread, Hexadextrous goes on and on about his fan fiction, and discusses his decapitation fetish, much to the ire of the individuals conversing with him in the thread. This talk from Hexadextrous struck a nerve with the admins of the site, who were the ones to lock it. I'll let you read this rant by one of the admins for a few seconds if you want. Now then, on to the final incident, and the one which is the least known out of all of them. A little background for this one too. If you don't know already, then Alloy Rabbit is a macro lolly artist that has been around for uh, quite a while if I do say so myself. Anyway, Alloy Rabbit has been streaming the creation of the vast majority of his art from past sunset until sunrise for quite a few years, and for two streams in October of 2019, Hexdextrous actually interacted with the stream chat for a bit. To be honest, even watching from the sidelines, I was pretty pissed at Hexdextrous's behavior. I can tell from these chat logs that the chat didn't really care about whatever Hexdextrous was going on about at the time, which led to Hexdextrous getting mad and calling it quits for the night. I have appended the logs to the description of this video, specifically just the ones with Hexadextrous in them, so that you can judge for yourself. Overall though, Hexadextrous is an obnoxious person who has been posting mediocre decapitation fetish artwork for some time now. My final recommendations to him are as follows. Firstly, improve your style. Like I said before, your style essentially boils down to a flat MS Paintsy style with numerous flaws, line consistency included. Try using some other programs such as Fire Alpaca and get those flaws sorted. Using other artists as a reference will surely help you out, as is maybe buying a tablet or something. Secondly, use references. Not only can these help you out with style, but they can also help you out with drawing poses and backgrounds. Search for them and practice drawing with them, 
and I am confident that your work will improve. And finally, stop being obnoxious. Those three incidents I mentioned should all have been wake-up calls regarding this issue, but they evidently have not. You can rant about cartoons all you want, but pestering others over petty issues and things that were clearly your fault show a painful lack of self-awareness on your end. Acknowledge your mistakes and learn how to be self-aware and you'll get along with others much better than you have before. Well, that does it for today. You can check me out on Twitter.com if you want to, but otherwise, I've been your host. Xenon Quirk 996. Have a happy new year.